continues to grow at Young and Finch, and that's where we find our Tammy Sutherland, as the first of 10 murdered people has now been identified by family and friends. Tammy. Yeah, that's right, Melanie. City News has learned via family and friends that one of the victims, one of the people killed, worked here in the area. Her name is Anne Marie D'Amico. She worked here on Young between Finch and Shepherd and was walking along at the time of the attack yesterday. She's also worked for Tennis Canada and for the Badminton and Racquet Club of Toronto as well. And this, as the memorial for those victims, the 10 people killed and the 15 others injured, continues to grow here at Young. And Finch. You can see all of the messages that have been written down on Bristol board, as well as candles that are being lit, flowers that are being left here behind as well. And we spoke to one of the people who came down here several times actually to leave his message of condolence. He lives in the building behind me and says it's affected him greatly. This is my community, and it's a lot of um, this community's Korean slash Persian neighborhoods. So I wrote a little message in Korean um, saying, like, I love Toronto and to stay strong. Now, with so many people impacted by this event, Toronto police have set up several special hotlines to assist the public. They're also still trying to uh, identify some of the victims as well. So if you do have a missing family member or a friend, they're asking you to give them a call at one of their hotlines, 416 808 8085. You can also call the Sunnybrook Support Center at 416-480-4940. And of course, because this is an ongoing investigation, they're asking any witnesses to come forward and you can call police at 416-808-8750 or send them any video or pictures that you have of the attack scene yesterday on their website. You can find the, a link to that at